Welcome back. We have defeated the clone. But it seems that there is more to do in this DLC. So let's find out what it is. And first of all, I think I need to get my message. And let's see if I can remember where to do that. Back here. I haven't done anything with this yet either. Is that still... yeah. It's still all standard. So I wonder where you get new ones of those. Oh, we got quite a few messages, it seems. From your friends at Armax Arsenal Arena. From Armax Arsenal Arena team. Dear Commander Shepard, we here at Armax Arsenal are huge fans of yours, and we can't tell you how much we value your efforts in the fight, fight against the Reapers. In an effort to raise both awareness and morale here on the Citadel, we've recently reskinned the holographic enemies in our simulator to look like Cerberus troops. We got a big surge of viewer interest when we added Gef enemies a few years back after their attack on the Citadel, and we're adding Reaper forces as well. We understand how busy you are, but if you ever feel like unwinding on shore leave, and giving our viewers a taste of what a real military ver veteran can do, we would love you to have. We would love to have you compete. You've got a complimentary pass waiting for you whenever you are interested. Thanks again, your friends at Armax Arsenal. That sounds like Pinnacle Station mixed with the multiplayer for single player. We'll see if that's of any interest. Your assistance from Javik, Commander. I have received an interesting proposal that I wish to discuss with you. Meet me outside the casino at the far end of what these primitives call the Silverson Strip. Although it isn't made of silver or near a sun. Stupid primitives. <laughs> okay. From Garrus, Shepard. When you have a free moment, I thought we'd check out the bar scene around here. Let's meet at the Silver Coast Casino, upper floor. Hopefully no dead arms dealers this time. From Com Specialist Samantha Trainer, Commander. If you'd like to meet up for lunch, I'll be in the Citadel Arcade area. Hopefully see you there. From James Vega. Hey, next time you're in that sweet new apartment with time to kill, give me a call. Got something I'd like to show you. From around the Lawson. Shepard. Would love to see it. Can't be worse than that pokey little captain's cabin on the Normandy. Invite me over sometime. I'm in the area. Tali Zora writes, Shepard. Next time we're on the Citadel, I'd love to come by. No rush, but it's nice to have a place there that you can call home. Hmm, that's going to put a certain line near the ending in a completely new context. Um, anyway. Omega from Bray. Hey, oh, that's the... Right. Things are settling down on Omega. Looks like the Talons are the new security force on the station. Their leader said something about honoring Kandros' memory. I'd say they were being cute, except that they're not shy about backing up the sentiment with firepower. Be careful out there. Now that there's at least one, b know that there's at least one battalion out there here that doesn't want you dead, Bray. I guess that's just a follow-up of Omega you might get after you do another mission after that, which I didn't do during my let's play of it, so you didn't see it. I'm. That's it. Nobody else who wants to meet me or anything. Jacob. Zaid, Kasumi, other people who I know were actually in the trailer, so. <laughs> Should potentially show up. Purchase party supplies. The missions are becoming more and more com more and more difficult, uh, aren't they? Doesn't look like there's anybody here. So best we go. We better go hang out on the strip with all these different people and. Um, Purchase party supplies. I must have one elevator music. We're happy to fulfill all your household needs. Okay, that's all she has to say. We can purchase some stuff for our um, quarters apparently polished vanity 
or deluxe vanity. And since I don't have anything else to spend any money on, we can probably just buy everything. But I only need one of each, I suppose. Let's go with the deluxe vanity. Simple bedding. Sure. A vibrant kitchen. Or a wholesome kitchen. This one's kind of gaudy, isn't it? Cozy sofa. Or posh sofa. I think I like the cozy sofa more. Basic recliner. This is really pointless stuff. An elegant ottoman. I'll go with the recliner. I actually, I actually have a chair like that. It's from Ikea, though. Um... Light coffee table. Artistic shelving and an amber accent wall. Why not? Mm. We'll see what that looks like when we get back. It's all kind of pointless stuff, but anyway. Oh, we have rapid transit here. I guess, yeah, we can go to the uh, other parts of the Normandy, f f of the Citadel, and back to the Normandy. Now that is a beautiful car. Really? Why exactly? It's a Mark II 2187 Black Hawk. Top speed is 650 clicks. Come on, Top Flight called it the sky car of the century. Alright, alright. It may have that kind of top speed, but was it made in mineral water? I don't think so. Oh, this is the Armax thing. Wait, Arya Talok did this? She must have been really bored. Barla Vaughn is second place? I find that hard to believe. Barla Vaughn would be able to defeat, you know, Bailey, Nafita, Al Jalani. Sure. New player! Need new player! You play easy. Find lady. Pretty queen! Follow lady! Is that a fortune with a beard? Looks like it. Uh. I didn't do anything. You're looking lucky. No, you lose. Too bad. Find the lady. Oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I think you can actually win this. Big winner. Again. Yeah. This is the combat simulator thing, isn't it? So let's see. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Armax Arsenal Arena. Armax Arsenal and the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board have registered you for a complimentary competitor's pass. You may start a match by going downstairs and selecting simulator options. When you are ready, enter the locker room. Competitors, remember to redeem your winnings at the Armax Arena store, located in the main lobby. Let's see if there's anything else up here before we go down there. I'm assuming this is some kind of hollow grid like the... Pinnacle Station. And not just an empty room that we have to fight in. There's a store as well. Combat Simulator Upgrades. Bronze Token, Silver Token. I don't really know what the hell any of this is. Oh, you can buy stuff with the... 
with the tokens. Really? You can fight alongside... Ooh, that is kind of cool. Um, okay, apparently there I can't actually go down. I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually do all of this in the recording because it looks like it might be some grinding. Yeah, I guess you can't unlock any of the... Are your normal squad mates already unlocked or...? Because these are all the not normal squad mates. All the people who aren't squad mates in this game is what I mean. Let's see what this does. Open the email system to receive messages from Armax Arena and fans. Let's see. Welcome to your AAA experience. Welcome to the Armax Arena, where the danger is fake, but the excitement is real. New athletes can challenge the Cerberus and Geth enemy sets at the foot soldier level. Additional layouts, enemies, and ally licenses can be purchased from the Armax store on the main level of the arena. Completing any match awards a bronze, silver, or gold prize depending on your point totals. These prizes are redeemable at the arena store for credits or to unlock play options. Bonus points can be acquired by finishing the match quickly, capturing bonus objectives, kill stra streaks, or taking voluntary handicaps. Voluntary advantages can be taken, but these reduce the final score. See you in the sim. The Armex Arsenal Arena team. Okay, let's see. Wingman, Blasteroids, the others are locked. Well, let's just start with the first one. Enemy selects. So we can choose Cerberus, Geth, Reapers, Collectors, Mirror Match. I guess that means you fight yourself. Or random enemy. This is really just going to be the multiplayer and single player, isn't it? Foot soldiers. Elites, super elites, or random. This is basically bronze, silver, or gold in the multiplayer, I think. Score modifiers. Ah, okay, you can't do... These are handicaps that you can choose. Allies. So who can I fight with? Yeah, see, I can fight with all my regular squad mates. Um, let's see, let's take Liara and... Uh, and Edie. Um, okay. Is save and exit what I need to do to actually go and play, or...? Yes. The manual. The Armax Arena uses state-of-the-art weapon simulators to produce an exciting near-combat experience. The weapon impacts are, in reality, just mild electrical feedback or firm taps from internal mass effect fields. The game itself is as complex as any real encounter. New athletes can only challenge the Cerberus and Geth enemy sets at the foot soldier level. Additional layouts, enemies, and ally licenses can be purchased from the Armax Arena store on the main level of the arena. Completing any match awards a prize in the arena store depending on your point totals. Bronze prize between 0 and 2000, silver between 2000 and 6000, and gold for more than 6,000. If the match finishes in under 5 Earth Standard Minutes, there is a bonus of 200 points. A bonus capture objective appears between rounds that is worth 200 points each time. Kill streak bonuses will accrue whenever a player takes out enemies within 5 seconds of the last kill. The value of the kill streak increases significantly for each additional kill, up to a maximum of 10 kills. Each voluntary handicap adds 10 to 20% to the final score. 
Each voluntary advantage reduces the final score by 10%. See you in the sim, the Armex Arsenal Arena team. An armor locker and a weapon bench. Makes sense, I guess. I'm really curious what they're gonna do with the other uh, squad mates, the, the ME2 squad mates. Like Jack and stuff. Um, let's see. Put some points into her. Decoy. That's not going to be useful because I don't have any. Edie doesn't have any. Singularity recharge then, I suppose. Stuck on the wrong weapon again. easier than the multiplayer because they're indicating where they're gonna spawn. What counts as a kill streak? What's the conditions for that? Get the bonus again. Five, four, three, two, one. Final round. Kill streak. Three, four. I assume that's. Um, more interesting allies like is down. That's brilliant, uh we are. I do have Metagel, but still. I'm sort of And we did it in under five minutes, that wasn't even hard. I'm assuming that if you have a higher difficulty level that enemies like phantoms will uh, show up. So we got silver for final score of 2,675. This match brought to you by Eldfell Ashland Energy. We power, we provide. I'm sure.
Okay, well that was sort of interesting, I guess. Not something I really need to uh, record much more of, I guess. I actually can't get... I'm going to have to intentionally do worse in order to be able to... to get these. That's kind of annoying, because uh, that's really the only thing I'm actually... Oh, wait, I can convert this to bronze prizes. Let's do that, then. Let's see, who would be interesting to fight alongside? Um, Jack? And Kasumi. Let's see what they do with that. Those. I'm gonna do one more, just with those two, and then we'll see what what happens. And let's see what else I can unlock. Oh, okay, this, these are locations, I guess. Spin zone, pain train. And you can also convert to credits. Nice. Just get that. Whatever. Okay, I'm gonna try this once more. You're just saying that because you lost. You're just saying that because you won. Well, I'm actually in sort of inclined to believe him, because how the hell does Barla Vaughn score so high on this thing? Good luck to the competitors. Let's see. We unlocked Spin Zone. We haven't used Blaster either, but let's do the Spin Zone, because I unlocked that. The enemy, let's use the Geth this time. I don't have the other challenges yet, so... Because technically I'm... Kasumi might be good against the Gaff though, with Jack. If she has the same powers as Mouse Hack 2, then... I don't know. Wait, we got an email. Um, Wrecking Machines, from CU Engineering Club. Commander, your match got you quite a following here at the Citadel U Engineering Club. When we heard you were in the arena, we pulled the club for what kind of dream matchup they'd like to see. Funny thing, the votes came in, and not a lot of people wanted Reavers or Cerberus. My guess that's too much like the news. They wanted to see you take down the Geth like the old days, so they're sending some friends together, and I wanted to ask, could you do one for us, just for us, Geth on the Blastroid map? We can't really afford to pay you, and you're probably doing pretty well for yourself anyway as a big-time Spectre and all that, but some of the engineers here are in weapons research. Give us a game, and we'll make you a mod. Is that too gauche? Thanks, Dave Chanel, uh, anti-president, CU Engineering Club. Okay, if I do it on Blastroid, then I might get something. Hello from Keithoy Ward. From Rosalinix Procelsius. Commander Shepard. Just wanted to let you know that we're big fans out in Keithoy Ward. I'm a bartender at a club, and we put our match, put your maps up on the vid screen by popular demand. Next match, I'm setting up a drinking game, so just imagine that there's going to be a room full of ward rats downing shots whenever you grab a bonus objective. Try hard out there, but try not to give my customers alcohol poisoning. Rolls. Welcome to the club, from this one is number one. Commander, this one just noticed your appearance on the leaderboard boards and wishes to offer its congratulations. It advises that success in combat sports can bring out an enthusiastic fan base. Do not worry about them. Most of them are quite harmless. Wishing you gentle tides, number one. Okay, I, I guess we have an... Uh, have a, a Hanar fan there. Okay, that seems to be okay. Oh, 
I need to save and exit. At least this is better than going through the whole conversation thing every single time. You want to do this like with Pinnacle Station. Let's see. Tactical Cloak. No Shadow Strike. But that was, that was her thing. Kasumi without Shadow Strike is not Kasumi. Come on. Oh well, he'll have to do. She can cloak though. Uh, duration or damage. I guess I'm just gonna spec this uh, the way you would normally do for an infiltrator. Um, armor piercing ammo. She's basically just a normal infiltrator with a decoy. And I already have my own ammo bonus, so... Wait, I'm forgetting her passive. Power damage or health and shields. Tech damage or weapon damage. Uh, oh, that's useful for me. <laughs> I'm guessing she's not going to say anything because the squad, other squad mates didn't say anything. But since she's here, she might show up later during the party or whatever. So we might yet have some dialogue for Kasumi. Um, there, that should do. Ladies and gentlemen, it's combat night in the Armax Arsenal Arena. Five, four, three, two. One. Starting round one. Um, cover would be good. Three. Four. Five. round one. Wow, that was quick. Damn it, I did not mean to roll. Did I get it? I don't think I got it. Oh, I damn it, I forgot to forgot to do jack, didn't I? Let's just do this quickly. Kill streaks are just time based. Four. End of round two. 
<laughs> that makes me wonder if the if servers had dragoons on the higher difficulty levels. Where are those two? I guess behind the wall. Kill streaks. The rat goes to Shepherd. Of course it does. Okay. We actually got a better score? Yes, we did. Oh, damn it, I did, I did try again. That was actually not... There's no way to exit this. I accidentally hit try again. Well, I'll cut that out then. Okay, that's enough of that, I think. Okay, he can't wait. Good to know. Oh, that's, uh... That's the Vorcha downstairs. Ah, we have a map here. That's good. Javik, Said, Trainer, Purchase par Party Supplies, and Garrus. We're all around here. It's an arcade. Javik is downstairs. Garrus is in the bar. say about him? This is the casino we were in before, right? Yes. Or he's using that uh, device that we didn't make or that we handed in, so probably not. It's Quasar. So yeah, don't get, don't go over twenty-one. Or don't go over twenty. Let's play one round. Okay, we'll just bet two fifty. Okay, well, I want some stuff. The guy who invented the Quasar rig to cheat the house a few years back. <laughs> Don't be so touchy. How do I get out of here? With F. Okay. What should we do first? 
Burgess Party Supplies is apparently up here. For 90 credits. Sure, why not? What can I get for you? Let's see what Garrus is up to here. Informal wear. Getting looks from the ladies. Shepard. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? I was thinking a date. Excuse me. I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um... Hmm. Hello? And... Hmm. Okay. Hello, she looks nice. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but... Decent. Overall. Oh. Thank you. I think. Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. Come here to unwind. He's not very good at this, is there? Is yeah. he? Yeah. Well, listen. I've got this... thing I forgot I had to do, and... I should probably just go do it. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus and I'd love to have a drink with you. This is that simple, eh? And now he's gone. I'm assuming that if you're playing Fem Shep and you're actually romancing Garrus, you get a different scene there. Well, we completed our highly important mission of purchasing party supplies. Let's see what Javik is up to. Let's hope we don't set him up on a date, because that would just be awkward. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing. You can play yourself. Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. All right, places, everyone. Quickly, quickly! Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras! Um, shouldn't somebody tell us what we need to do? And... action! Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. <laughs> Who wrote this script? <laughs> Let's go with it. Yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen roast. Ah, you die now! Vorcha Counselor? Yet. That line comes later. The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. I believe I've been misinformed about the purpose of this vid. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Salarian kidney is best served at room temperature. 
It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean no like you. Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto, about time you showed up. The galaxy is under attack by Reapers. If only someone had warned us about them years ago. This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed auditory systems. Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign, Saren, you might have heard of them. Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel, putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Prothean, no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. They cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's Sombra's half-brother Sluggard! And he's looking for some payback. Cue the stunt double! Your line. Say your line. Oh, you die now! Oh no! The Vorta Counselor is indoctrinated! This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Vorchus... Not uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Strike the set! Telcasting will need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the Genophage. I think this area has really gone downhill. If they're all only five minutes long, then... Um, who else is around here? Zaid and Trainer in the arcade. She's here, I think. Good night. Stuff we can actually do. Oh, there's the trainer spot. Shattered Ezo. Punch your opponent to lower their health meter and earn points. Survive as many opponents as possible while earning points. Block incoming jabs to prevent damage. Charge up a punch to break through blocks. Jab to interrupt an opponent that is charging up. Jabbing when an opponent is blocking reduces your score. Consecutive jabs cause increased damage. Earn a prize before achieving high score. Prize to play 200 credits. Left click to punch. Hold left click and then release to deliver more powerful punch and charge. Press right click to block. Okay, that seems simple enough. Let's see. Okay. You can do better than that. I'm not really seeing how this is supposed to work. Okay. This is not actually in any way fun. Don't stop now. Oh 
What the hell is the point of this? Um, I lost my head. You're doing great. Nice punch. Don't stop now. Well, it's a good nice thing these punch. these guys never tried to make Street Fighter great. or anything like that, <laughs> because they clearly haven't got the hang of uh, 2D combat games. I'm literally just Game left clicking. Over. Congratulations, that's a new high score. Fantastic. I could not care less. But there's more games down there. What's relay defense? Is that something we can play too? Yep. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go wait for trainer. That might actually be interesting. Did you catch the updated intel reports on stripping enemy defenses? It's embarrassing. Yeah, it's recruit reading. Which gun to use for best armor penetration? As if anyone carries two guns anymore. It's elementary. If you're staring down a hallway of a Cerberus Centurion, you deploy an energy drain on their shields. Or just overload them, sure. And if you come up against a Marauder, you detonate your tech armor. Exactly. Wait, what? They were exchanging tactics, I guess. Some kind of strategy game? Force feedback or something. Brilliant endgame. Excellent use of the Daylucian Gambit. Is this... space chess? It's called Cape Esh Yakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have played it since... We were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. To Sousa. Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. That was before you helped manage intel for a galactic war. You're right. I've gotten a lot better since I came to the Normandy. Which is a frigate, by the way. So try not to lose it. Roger that. Frigate. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maidens tactics and strategy through this game. So, your job is playing games? Mentoring students in strategic and tactical simulations, yes. Specialist trainer here helped us take down Cerberus. We're preparing our final assault thanks to her efforts. I'm sure she's a wonderful serviceman, but she just lost her last frigate. Traded her last frigate, actually, for your homeworld. <laughs> Thanks, Commander. And I apologize again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on.
So is that game like chess or is it like Battleship? I could not tell you based on what we just saw. Wow, a claw machine. Zaid. Zaid is playing with the claw machine. Sure, I'll believe that. You're mine, you bastard. God damn it. Zaid? Over here, Shepard. This thing is fucking impossible. What are you doing? There was a kid here, sniveling brat, spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? He asked. Looks simple enough. God damn it. Where's the kid? What do I care? Got any credit, Shepard? Isn't there something better we could go do? What could possibly be more important than Zaid Masani not getting bested by some fucking kid's game? You really want one of those plushy toys? Goddamn right I do. Okay then. Credits. Sure. But even a bounty hunter's gotta use his manners once in a while. Please. Easy. Easy. It's obviously rigged somehow. Rigged? I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Probably some smart ass Salarian bastard. I'm going back in. Credits. Here you go, sweeto. Okay, Zaid. We're two. How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? The whole claw thing is a bit... strange. Zaid, will another victory ever match the one you just experienced? You're right. Guess you've been around that block a few times. A few too many. Come on, you're buying. Yes, I am. Well, that was hardly an epic final part for Robin Sachs. Whom, if you did not um, hear it, recently passed away. I guess that's the downside of having such a silly DLC. Yeah, I have no intention of playing the claw. This is all kind of silly stuff. I don't really think I need to show you absolutely everything. Of course, you can't play Kipesh Yakshi or however you pronounce that. Because I'm sure they don't know what the rules for that are. That seems to be everyone. I think I need to get to the rapid transit and go back to. So there I was, taking cover behind a table in the middle of this Asari monastery. Scion on my right side, pinning me down. Abominations coming into the room on my left. Oh, that's brutal. I remember when we thought the Reapers had the toughest ground troops. Good times. Are you part of the multiplayer N7 squads? Where do I get down from here? Good news. Procurement has authorized you for the Grawl Spike Thrower Mark 7. What? What? But I'm an adept. I don't use shotguns. Well, the Grawl 7 is one of the best heavy shotguns available. We don't just give them to anyone. I don't use shotguns ever. 
Do you know what carrying something that heavy would do to my cooldown time? I go through entire missions without firing my gun. I wouldn't even carry one if not for Alliance Rex. Okay, we've got a bunch of multiplayer players up here, it seems. And it seems the only way down is through... I try to let loose with a concussive shot, but I'm covered in those bees, the swarmers. Everything's overloaded. And then this huge biotic explosion rips through the Scion. It saves my ass. Asari? Volus. Ouch. <laughs> okay. He was covered in bees. Covered in bees. That's why I always yell. Whenever I get those I'm things. You, the Growl 7 is like the Commander Shepherd of guns. Even better than the Growl 6. I never even equipped the Growl 6 or Growls 1 through 5. Because you heard about how quickly they overheat, right? I know. But that's not a problem anymore. I've talked with the guys upstairs, and we're throwing in five thermal clip packs. Now you can go to town with your shotgun and never worry about overheating. I don't use shotguns. Listen, I can tell that you're unhappy. Here's what I'm going to do. I've got limited stock on a few special goodies. Okay, that would be great. Anything that helps my biotics, even a single-use power amplifier. Wait, what the hell is that? Strength enhancer module for your armor. Helps you out in close quarters combat. I have a biotic aura that literally annihilates anything near me. Why would I need a strength enhancer? So I get a shotgun I can't use and thermal clips I don't want and a strength enhancer. You're the reason we're losing this war. Hey now, we're all in this together. Everybody's hurting. Like those Krogan soldiers on Palavin, going toe to toe with ravagers and brutes. I bet they'd love a new shotgun. I only hope the creative biotic amps we sent them does some good. Oh! I get it. He's the store. I get it. That is exactly how the store works in multiplayer. You always get the stuff you don't want. I'm an Alliance Marine. That used to mean I was special, you know? Now we got those guys with the crazy destroyer armor. Or those N7 engineers with their grenade pylons. Who needs that many grenades? You carry around all that gear for a supply pylon, and you don't have room to carry your combat drone. You want to drop into Sion without a combat drone to watch your back? Then hey, it's your funeral. <laughs> I'm enjoying this bit. As a multiplayer player. She actually she was actually a fury, right? That's what her subtitle said. Doesn't look like a fury, but I guess it's hard to tell without the armor. No one else, nothing else going on up here? No. And it seems we do need to go. Come on in. Might the legend of this rule echoes across Citadel space and beyond. What could you possibly not know? I don't know, maybe because he's not ruling now? That is a meaningless detail. The Patriarch's story transcends time. Can I get them to finish their, their story? How far away do we need to go? Suspicious device. Was that the guy who was winning at Quasar? Senek, hit the comm. Tiana, distract the bouncer. Urch, you take the vault. Avoid the thermal sensors. They trigger the lockdown. You'll hit motion sensors, and that'll alert security. Verk, steal a uniform. You go in as security, fake the arrest. You want to Whoops. discuss your plans? I seem to have the wrong casino. Kasumi? <sighs> Take a walk, guys. I can explain. Why was she discussing her plans to rob the casino in the casino? That seems like a stupid idea. I believe I hired you because you were the best damn thief in the galaxy. Sweet talker. Are you hard up for credits, or is this just to stay in practice? People who can't get to the Citadel are having a rough time out there. This place has more money than it knows what to do with. It could help those refugees survive. And it's 
not like the owner can spend it if the Reapers win. So you're robbing the rich to help the poor? I'm doing what I do. Raiding Cerberus bases and infiltrating Reaper-held locations is fun. But I'm a thief. Stealing? It's who I am. Without it, I... By the way, are you gonna call security? Just don't get caught, okay? Hey, come on. I never get caught. Come on, guys. Show's on. Excuse me, is there a problem? No. No problem at all. 